A Cobb County boy had to walk away from the sports he loves after being diagnosed with a rare hip disorder. Witten Percy was just seven at the time, but today he's back on the field with a major surgery behind him. And the Fox Medical Team's Beth Calvin is here to share his journey. And Christine, what a journey. I mean, Witten was only in the first grade when he was first diagnosed. And his mom, Lindsay, says the idea that Witten needed major surgery with months of recovery time was daunting. But she says they trusted the surgeon and the process, and they decided they would play the long game. Witten Percy of Marietta has been playing baseball for as long as he can remember. We started baseball at four and then started flag football at five and basketball five. And Lindsay Percy says she and her husband and their three boys have grown up playing sports, but Witten was constantly on the move. He was the one that never sat still, always playing sports, always up throwing the baseball, always out running with the football. And that's what Witten was doing in October of 2018, playing flag football when his mom says another player pushed him to the ground. He fell on his left side and when he stood up, he started limping and we were like, well, that's odd. You know, maybe he pulled a groin muscle. Let's get him off. Let's rest. Let's sit out for a week or two. We did that and then put him back in the game. As soon as he took off running again, the limp came back full force. I mean, it was even worse than before. Witten says his left leg didn't hurt. It just felt like really weird when I would walk on it. Like it just felt like something in there was like moving and like all that every time I'd put pressure on it. At Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Witten was diagnosed with Perthes disease. We had never heard of it. I'd never heard of Perthes, never known a single person that's had Perthes. Perthes is a hip condition in which the blood supply to the head of Witten's left femur or thigh bone had become cut off, causing the bone to temporarily begin to die. And in Witten's case, almost 100% of his femoral head had no blood flow. So immediately I take my phone, I start to Google, which you should never do. And the first thing is they never will be able to play sports again. You know, you have to worry about them walking properly. And you know, I just lost it. I started crying in the kitchen. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta orthopedic surgeon Dr. Tim Schrader told the Percy's Witten needed to take a break from sports. Keep them out of PE use crutches to take the weight off of that leg, try to protect the ball that's crumbling and weak and keep it from deforming. But because Witten was so young, seven, and his condition was detected early, Dr. Schrader says his body had not yet started to try to heal itself by growing new bone, which could cause the ball of his femur to become deformed. Once the ball starts to heal, you know, that the ship has sailed, cat's out of the bag. To prevent that from happening in January of 2019, Witten underwent surgery to break and re position his left femur and insert an L-shaped metal plate to hold the bone in the correct position. It meant that he would have to spend a month in a V-shaped lower body cast, then slowly work his way from a wheelchair to a walker to six months of crutches, sitting out two whole baseball seasons. But today, at 11, I think he's doing great. His femoral head is healing nearly perfectly round. Witten Percy is playing travel ball, tackle football, and basketball. He says he's not as fast as he used to be, but he's getting there and enjoying every minute of it. I love baseball. I just love everything about it. And one reason that Witten's family chose surgery is that kids with Perthes can develop severe arthritis in their hip over time if the problem's not addressed. So some of them will eventually need a hip replacement down the road that could be in their 20s or their 30s or their 40s. But Christine, this is sort of a leading reason why we see hip replacements in young people, some of them very athletic young people. Oh yeah, and he's still a growing boy, so I guess he'll just, that grows with him and eventually, like you said, later yes. in life, he'll yes. be another so he should heal. He has a little bit of a limp because there's a little bit of an unevenness between his left and his right hip, but or his left and right leg. But yeah. you know, you saw him out there playing. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing great. great. To see that he's yeah. back in his sports that he loves. Good yeah. stuff. All right, yeah. thanks, Beth. Still ahead.